What's going on today? Happy Friday. It is almost the end of October, and normally every year in the beginning of November, or right before Thanksgiving, I make this long post. I just copy and paste it every year, and it talks about not giving up on your entire year-long goals from the holiday of Thanksgiving to Christmas, right? It feels weird talking about Thanksgiving and Christmas because it feels like it's still, still March, but it's not. It's actually almost already November. So I'm going to get started a little early this year because one of the main things I've been learning myself this year is about preparation, being prepared, getting mentally ready for challenges and things. And so maybe if we talk about it a little early, uh, you know, maybe it'll go better. But a lot of times people have these laser focused goals, right? They, they're ready to go all year long, have their plan, you know, they execute the plan. And then comes Thanksgiving week, rolling into Christmas week. You got Thanksgiving potlucks with friends. You got Christmas parties for work and for fun and for, you know, all different different social things that you're in. So you end up going to four or five Thanksgivings, four or five different Christmas parties, and people just go tumbling down and the snowball builds and builds and builds and not in a good way, right? All the progress, all the gains or all the losses they made all year long can literally be erased. Eight or nine months worth of hard work and progress can literally be erased in the time from Thanksgiving to Christmas. Now this year, it's pretty unique because a lot of us may feel like we're, li we're living the week of Thanksgiving to Christmas and even to New Year's all year long, right? We think that kind of feels like that. A lot of people are working from home, not doing as much as they used to. Uh, but a lot of people here, especially in Florida, are getting out and living their life. Either way, Thanksgiving to Christmas is that time of year where a lot of people give back everything. It's like, you know, maybe if you're at the poker table or blackjack table or dice table, whatever, you get all that winning, you win all that money, and then you don't walk away, right? You stay there until you give it all back. Um, this is like mental preparation for it happening, right? Halloween parties are going to be happening. We're going to have, um, you know, Thanksgivings, Christmas, New Year's. It's a tough month and a half for physical fitness goals, right? And during the year, it shouldn't always be about progress sometimes. Like, it's fun to enjoy all these things. I'm not telling you not to do that. I absolutely think you should. What I think is we should level our expectations. You know, if you're going to go out and enjoy it, like limit it to those couple days, right? Don't say, oh, I fell off on Thanksgiving and I'll fall off all week and then I'm going to be, you know, December's tough. So I'm just going to say, you know, you know what? I did good from January through October. I'm just going to take November and December off. What you'll find is when you fall off the rails, at least me, when I fall off, I fall off hard and I fall off fast. And I just give it all back, right? So I'm talking to myself right now just as much as anybody else. Like I'm not giving it all back this year. No way. I'm going to enjoy my, enjoy my time, enjoy my functions, my parties, whatever. But as soon as it's over, I'm going to get back on it. If you're traveling, you know, it might not be about moving forward as much as not moving backward. If you don't have a, play, a gym wherever you're traveling for, for the holidays or whatnot, um, just burpees, air squats, run, you know, anything you can do just to not go backwards. It's not always about moving the needle forward. Sometimes it's as much about staying where you are and not going backwards as it is moving forward. Imagine you're in a current, right? You're in the ocean. There's a big current pushing you one way. Well, you know, Jan if you set your life up right, January through October, maybe the current is kind of still. So if you stopped, you wouldn't shoot back as fast as you would if the current was moving. But definitely November, December is when that current starts to go. And when you stop swimming, you don't stay right where you are. When you stop swimming, that current just takes you, right? So making sure you get in a daily sweat, whether it's 10, 20 minutes, doesn't have to be the best workout you ever had, but it's usually gonna make you make smarter choices with your diet, with your, you know, whatever you're doing for fun. You know, as if you get that workout into the morning, again, it just can be body weight, anything. It doesn't have to be some crazy workout as long as you get something in to help you not move backwards, right? So Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, get your mind right now that you're not going to give everything back you've worked so hard for this year. I know it's not even November yet, but that doesn't matter. Halloween parties are coming up. Thanksgiving's coming up. End of semester's coming up. Christmas is coming up. Winter is coming. Just make sure... 
but you don't give it all back, right? I've said it three or four times now. I'll say it again. Don't give it all back. You've worked really hard, especially those of you that have worked hard this year. A lot, you know, there was a lot of turmoil, a lot of things. You worked hard this year. You made gains. It'd be a real shame to give it all back, right? If you guys need help with accountability, you need help staying on track, that's what we're here for. Just let us know how we can help you. And uh, now's the time to get your mind right, not after it already happens. Get your mind right. You're going to enjoy the days. You're going to enjoy your things, and you're going to get right back to it the very next day. That way, instead of going backwards, you're constantly moving forward or staying the same. All right? Have a great day. Come get that workout in. Happy Friday. See you next week.